I am Mikko Niemi. I am professor of pharmacogenetics at the University of Helsinki, and I'm also a head physician at the, at the University Hospital Lab here in Helsinki. My name is Henda Tynisma. I'm an associate professor at the Faculty of Medicine. I am academy professor Lauri Aaltonen, uh, professor of tumor genomics at the University of Helsinki. I have received two ERC grants. The first one was a starting grant for investigating transport of pharmacogenomics or the contribution of drug transporters to variability in drug response. And this was my five-year grant, which ended just at the beginning of this year. My second ERC grant is a consolidated grant for uh, individualizing statin therapy or individualizing cholesterol-lowering therapy. I was happy to receive the ERC starting grant in the 2014 call. And my ERC project combines two of my passions in science, mitochondria and protein homeostasis. And mitochondria are involved in a large range of, of human disorders and degenerative conditions and in aging. But we focus specifically on defects in the mitochondrial protein synthesis, which also cause surprisingly variable human diseases. Uh, I have had the pleasure of receiving two advanced grants. So the first one was for uh, cancer predisposition uh, on its various levels. Um, and, uh, and the current one that I, I have is on uh, genetics and genomics uh, of uterine leiomyomas. Indeed, the two grants need to be somewhat different. So, so one is not supposed to just get a continuation for something that you, you already had on the first grant. The ERC funding has been a game changer in my career because it has allowed me to get a tenure track position at the, at the University of Helsinki. Also for my group, it's been very important because I've been able to recruit a nice team and provide long-term contracts for the scientists. And together we are able to do this very risky and ambitious project. Of course, the stability that long-term significant funding provides us with is very important for everyone. Uh, the university world tends to be somewhat unstable. Um, uh, it is uh, very important to have long-term funding and you can uh, really commit then to the projects and the people can commit to the, to the community much, much better uh, that way. The most important thing for myself and my group has been that we have been able to do the kind of research that we really want to do. So the, so the level of funding is so high compared to many other grants. That, that this has really made it possible for us to do the kind of research that we want to do. If you look at the uh, progress of European science since the establishment of ERC, it's, it's been quite good compared to many competing countries and, and regions like the North Americas, for example. And we have been able to, uh, able to get closer to the level or even surpass the US, for example, in, in many parts of science. And, and I, I firmly believe that ERC is one of the big factors in, in this success of European science. So my tips for future ERC applicants are first, should be bold, believe in yourself, and then when designing your research you should think big. My advice to young scientists who are thinking to apply is to apply. You may have concerns if you are good enough or if it's going to be a waste of time to apply because the competition is so tough. But I also had those concerns. I did not think my track record was strong enough or my foreign postdoc was also not very long or successful. And still I was able to get the funding and so can you.